We have an excellent safety record on our contract, with over five million hours and two and a half years since our last incident. So when something like this happens, it really frightens you. It shows you how precious life is. It's important to know why it happened. It's also important it never happens again. We deliver about 100 million pounds worth of schemes a year on our contract and over 100, 150 schemes. A lot of those involve breaking ground and that's our own utilities and all sorts of cables. It can be quite dangerous work. What we do is we plan properly. We make sure we know where those cables are, make sure we have metastatements and risk assessments in place. We'd taken the opportunity to attend a site on the A64 that we'd had to put off due to the inclement weather. It was a drainage site, uh, ongoing works. We'd carried out extensive trial holes and surveys. We had well-trained, experienced subcontractors on site. Uh, it seemed a fairly straightforward job. Unfortunately, it wasn't. We pulled up on site, as usual, many times before. We had a site briefing, gone through everything, signed up to all rams. Uh, machine checks, stuff like that, got ready to go. Uh, we then um, got the CAT scan, went Jenny, went out to the work area, we scanned everything, as we've done a thousand times before, but this time we give ourselves an extra metre. What we said is we'll work back to that metre, get a length of piping, and then we'll start digging by hand for the services. Uh, it was first week in lockdown due to this Covid, which we're still up in air of it. Nobody really knew much about it at the time, so obviously that's on us minds as well. We started digging. Uh, we're coming up close to the first mark. That's when... Uh... My initial response was, is everybody okay? Um, I will be on site as quickly as I possibly can just to make sure everything is in place, everything is in order and everybody is okay. We discovered what we'd done is when we'd been digging, we'd been pushing the kerb. And that's unfortunately what I did the cable. We're incredibly lucky on this occasion that nobody was seriously injured or killed and instead we investigated it as a serious high potential near miss. No matter what the variables are involved, uh, whether it be weather, time constraints, pandemics, uh, there's no excuse for shortcuts. Safety should never be compromised on the network. Yeah, it was a severe shock to be honest with you. Um, could have been a loss of life quite easy, maybe two losses of life, which is a, a big thing when you've got kids at home, you know, it's going home to explain to my nephew and his niece. My dad's not coming home anymore, or he could have been in the same shoes as me. Like, it were, uh, but a very close call. It's not something I'd, uh, I'd like to go through again, to be honest with you. Got an excellent contract, won 50 awards, got a great safety record. All that would have gone in an instant if we'd have killed somebody. What we've learned from this is we must follow safe systems at work. Risk assessments and meta statements are there to protect you. Thank you.